Devin, uh, thinking about this fight when Tyson says he's going to come forward, second round KO, he's really going for the KO. Do you believe that? I mean, it's hard for me to believe that when he had so much success the first fight, you know, going in there boxing, using his movement. If he does, I think this is going to be a much better fight for Wilder. Um, I hope that he goes in there and he tries to box him. I mean, he makes Wilder work and have to adjust. But if he goes in there and he tries to go for the knockout, it's going to be a long night. Do you or maybe a fast night. I'm sorry. Or maybe or maybe an early night. Right, yeah. <laughs> Do you feel, uh, is there anything from kind of Wilder's last fight in that Ortiz was out boxing on the or, you know, when he was losing on the yeah. cards? I mean, a lot of fights, you know, you, you see you see Wilder getting touched up in the beginning, but he eventually lands that big shot, and I feel like that's why he looks. For. He's gonna look, he looks for that big shot and he that's his money shot, so I don't blame him. What's it like kind of being here? Uh, you're not on either side of the street. I, I guess you're on the, the zone side of the street, but as far as you know, these two kind of competing companies, you're just kind of seeing everyone around. Terrence here, Bud's here, uh, Broner's here. Like, is, is that, I don't know, it's kind of surreal, isn't it? Yeah, um, you know, it's, that's, that just shows you how big of a fight this is. You know, it's a, it's a lot of a lot of people coming out for it, and uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, Ruiz versus Ortiz. Andrew Ruiz might be fighting Ruiz Ortiz. What are your thoughts on that fight? I think that's a great fight. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see that because, you know, Ortiz is a great boxer. He showed you what he was doing against Wilder early. Um, and you know, he showed that you know he can be outboxed, but if he lands that, you know, that shot that it can be an early night. So it's a similar fight to Wilder and Wilder and Ortiz. I'm excited to see my, my last one, man. Uh, for you, who's uh, Devin Haney's uh, Alpha Pound number one and why? Uh, I gotta go with Canelo. He just beat everybody, you know, that they put in front of him. Um, besides Mayweather, of course, he's been beating guys, you know, for for a long time. He's been beating the best guys, going up and up in weight. He's been beating them. I gotta go with uh, Canelo. You say the same thing in front of a lot of people here. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no he my man. I would, I would tell him that he's number two. <laughs> We're here on a big heavyweight fight weekend. How would you rank the top? Who is the top three heavyweights? How do you rank them? I gotta go with Wilder, Joshua, Fury. Why Fury third behind Joshua? Why that quarter? Uh, Wilder because you know he's, he's undefeated. He's just been knocking everyone out that they put in front of him. So has so has Joshua until he lost to Fury. That's why I put him number two. And in three because you know Fury he took a lot he took a lot of time off. In the last three fights he hasn't been really fighting anybody. I can I don't I can. Who they, who they were, so. You've had a tight ship the whole time, team, the father, the whole camp has been tight. Can you imagine a scenario where you would feel like you would need to change trainers before a major fight? And do you think that is a, a pro or a con for Fury to go in a different direction for this fight? Yeah, um, I would actually, you know, bring somebody on uh, on board. I'm actually, you know, looking to bring somebody on board, you know, for my next fight as of now to, to work with my dad. Um, so, you know, I would say I have my, always have my dad on my team, but if I needed to bring somebody, you know, to, to help him, then yeah. What is that thing that you want to bring in that you feel will enhance the fighter you are? Um, well, it's, 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 a, it's somebody big. He, he, he was a big time fighter, and uh, we have similar styles. And I, I don't want to say it because it's not 100% yet. We haven't locked it in all the way. I've been speaking with him, but we haven't locked it in all the way yet. So um, I just feel like he can he can help elevate my style. It's a former fighter for yeah. weight class. <laughs> you guys will know. How long ago did he fight? I'm not telling you guys. Kind of recent, though. Kind of recent. Really? Yeah. Devin, uh, Cozy Raps on TV. I um, just want to talk to you about the first fight between Wilder and Fury. Um, Jack Reese, the referee, had Wilder up uh, the first four rounds. What's your thoughts on that? I really don't even really remember the first. I was at the first fight, but I don't really don't remember it, so I can't, can't really tell you. Yeah. And in terms of uh, the two fighters, both undefeated. In your opinion, who needs to make the greater adjustments and how to win this fight? I think Wilder would need to make the greater adjustments um, because he just. He was, he was, I feel like he was too anxious the first fight, so this fight he didn't need to go in there, settle down, you know, let his shots come. Um, you spoke about um, everybody's here, yourself, growing up. Are we now in the presence of a super fight? Is this a super? Is this a super fight? Oh, this fight. Yeah, I think so. I, th I think that it's a, it's a huge fight. Um, you know, I say one and three of their of their weight class. I mean, this fight's huge. Yeah, and the win is the number one heavyweight in the world. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, thank did you very you, much. Did you run into Brona when you were in here? You nah, talk I mean, nah, we ain't, we ain't, we haven't talked, but if we did, what we gotta say, well, only thing we have to say is let's make the fight happen. There ain't nothing else that we need to talk about. Uh, you know, he's saying that he won 20 million. That's too much money, obviously. You know, like you can never say what somebody's yeah, worth, but he know what he's doing. He's pricing his stuff out. He don't really want to fight me. When he says a number that high, are you kind of like, you're, you're just using my name? 
Yeah, yeah, I just feel like, you know, he's just trolling. Right. Thank you, Devin. Appreciate you so much.